Public early childhood institutions such as daycare centers and preschools reopened for business on Monday. Shani Kavi has the details. Sanitization stations, temperature screening stations, and the six feet physical distancing protocols were seen in some early childhood centers across St. Kitts as they reopened their doors on Monday. While ZIZ's cameras were at the industrial site daycare center, an assessment team from the Ministry of Education came to appraise the center. Resource teacher in the Early Childhood Development Unit, Andrea Liddy, explained that the task of the assessment team is not only to give approval for these centers, but also to make sure they are complying with the COVID-19 safety protocols. As part of the assessment team for the Ministry of Education, we, our task is also to not just to assess to give opening and approval of the centers, but also to make a spot check to ensure that they are complying with the things that they have put in place. And so we have visited three of our government centers in Bastia, the Victoria Road Preschool, the McKnight Daycare Center, and now at the Industrial Site Daycare Center. We have also visited some of the private centers who sought assistance who have not yet have approval, but they have sought assistance is to make sure that they are doing the right thing and are complying to the checklists that was provided for them. She also gave her assessment for the centers the team has visited so far. Well, so far, in terms of the government centers that we have visited, we recognize that they are complying with the space. The space is adequate for the number of children that are being welcomed at the center. Um, we trust that the other parents who, have, who are not yet sure of uh, what will happen during the COVID period. The adults are wearing their masks, sanitization was done when we entered and uh, our temperature was also taken. Um, the, children are wear, the adults are wearing their masks, as I said before, and the children are in their small groups um, with their primary care caretaker. The private centers that we visited, we gave technical assistance, as we said, and they are preparing themselves to open very shortly. And as soon as they become, they are ready, they will be assessed like the others and uh, approval will be given with a certificate. The industrial site daycare center welcomed 32 children upon reopening and supervisor of the center, Aisha Brian Bass, said that the parents complied with the protocols noting that they were notified in advance. Okay, this morning the, we welcome back the children. The parents, were, the children, sorry, were accompanied by their parents, a responsible adult, as it is stipulated in the school rules that an adult, a responsible adult, must bring the children to the school, which was done today. We had our meetings with the parents last week, Thursday. So the parents were briefed on what will be happening when they come out this morning. So they complied, they followed the rules and the regulations that were put in place and the different procedures. Assistant Supervisor at the Industrial Site Daycare Center, Isilma Knight, explained the procedure for parents dropping off their children. So we have two screening stations here at the daycare center. The screening station for preschool and the nursery too is over on this side and then we have behind me the screening station for nursery one so when the parents comes in they sanitize they come social distance when they get to the register the children they their temperatures are taken and one of the staff would come and collect the children and take them inside the preschool or the nursery she also said that practicing social distancing among children is challenging, but the teachers and staff members try to isolate each group of children to minimize mixing with other classes. Reporting for ZIZ News, I am Shanique Harvey.